Hi everyone! In this video I would like to uh, explain why uh, unsigned size T was a design mistake of C++. The first thing we should consider is that unsigned does not mean non-negative. Non-negative has a very clear meaning in current English. For example, if I say that the difference of two non-negative numbers always gives a non-negative result, you will say no. Because, for example, 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1, and both 3 and 4 are non-negative numbers. Also, if I say that adding a posi possibly negative number to a non-negative number you get a non-negative result. You will say no, because for example minus 4 plus 3 you get minus 1. And finally, if I say that a non-negative number can be smaller than minus 1, you will say that no, because no non-negative number can be smaller than minus 1. That's basically the definition of non-negative. However, with C++ and signed types, things are different. For example, in C++, the difference of two unsigned numbers always gives us an unsigned result. And that's true. For example, on a 32-bit integer platform, uh, subtracting 3, uh, 3 minus 4 with unsigned numbers gives us a result 4,294,967,295 that is 2 raised to the power of 32 minus 1. Similarly, if I say that a pos adding a possible negative number to an unsigned number always gives an unsigned result, this is also true. And on C++, minus 4 plus 3 where 3 is an unsigned number, gives back the same 4 billion something result. And finally, if I say that an unsigned can be smaller than minus 1, this is true, because for example, 4 is less than minus 1. Actually, most of unsigned are less than minus 1. But I can hear that you may say that this happens because of overflow. This is not the case. Overflow in C++ is undefined behavior and happens on values that are too large to be represented correctly by the platform. Values that, are, uh, that correct programs do not use. The strange behavior of a sign is instead very well defined and happens around zero and zero is probably the most common value used in programming, so it's not because of overflow that unsigned behaves so strangely. The key point is that unsigned does not mean non-negative. But then what does it mean? Unsigned for C++ means modulo integer. In mathematical terms, it's an element of z over n. Uh, you can find on Wikipedia uh, much more information about modular arithmetic, but uh, uh, a very well-known case is the analog clock. If you have a clock with uh, the hour hand pointing to 9 and you wait 4 hours, the hour clock hand will be pointing to 1. And this means that 9 plus 4 on the clock is equal to 1. For a C++ compiler, uh, an unsigned character, uh, if the platform, on that platform the uh, character is 8-bit, is exactly like a clock with 256 marks. And for example, if you add 30 to the value 240, you end up with the result 14. A signed character instead, on the same platform with 8 bit per character, will represent values from minus 128 to plus 127. It's a portion of the integer lines of numbers. And uh, uh, if you do a computation using signed characters, 
uh, that get past the 100 uh, plus 127 or uh, on the right or on the left you get less than 128 minus 128 you get uh, an undefined behavior so maybe you get a wraparound this happens uh, for example on common uh, x86 platform but it's not guaranteed by the standard so you cannot uh, rely on what is what happens when you enter the overflow area please note the unsigned chart uh, the one the feature of unsigned is that there is no undefined behavior there is no overflow everything is defined here instead we have an area that is dangerous but is far away from zero and why is wrong using an unsigned for size t? That's the key point of this presentation. The problem is that size t was meant to be the size of something. Actually, it was the number of elements in a container. And the size was conceptually a non-negative number. And we just saw that unsigned is, uh, uh, means something different. It means mongol integral. does not mean non-negative. So there is a really a conceptual difference. There are two different conceptually. Conceptually, there are two different things. Okay, but you may say, what is wrong using an ensemble for size t if we don't care about the philosophy? The problem are bugs. There are really many bugs. In my experience, they happen quite often because of this uh, design mistake. Because a size t was an unsigned type is an unsigned type for standard containers. I will just focus on one single case, but there are many of them. In this case, I'm trying to draw the uh, the code that tries to draw the lines connecting a, a vector of points. So PTS is a standard vector, and this uh, loops from zero to size minus one and draws a line from a point to the next one. That is point i to point i plus 1. This code is buggy. And the problem is that when PTS is the empty vector, this code is undefined behavior. And we'll probably get a set fault. You will get probably compiling this code with a modern compiler uh, a warning uh, because of the i less than point side minus 1. And the warning will be that you should not mix. Uh, segment integers and unsigned integers in, uh, in, in the same expression. And so you might be tempted to fix these by using a size t for e, for the variable. But this actually will not solve the issue at all. It will just shut up the warning. The code will still be broken for an empty vector and will still get undefined behavior. The problem in this code is point size minus 1. It's not the index. Point size minus 1, because point size is an assigned value, is for an empty vector 4 billion something. This is the key issue. For example, a way to solve it is to change the test from uh, i less than point size minus 1 to i plus 1 less than point size. This is a very small change, but now the code is correct. With unsigned types, a less than by b minus 1 is not the same a plus 1 less than b, even for the very common value 0. Uh, 0 is the size of an empty container, and I think that most C++ programs, probably every C++ program that uh, handles containers, in some point in time as empty containers around. So empty containers are very common. And you can get in this kind of trap because of the size of an empty container being zero, unsigned zero. My personally prefer the way to solve this issue and steer away <coughs> sorry and steer away from these uh, uh, these uh, bugs, this kind of bugs, is to just uh, get rid of unsigned as soon as possible. 
So in this code, for example, I will probably copy the size of the vector to n and uh, regular integer, and then just use uh, uh, use the uh, integer for this. Of course, uh, I have to pay attention that the vector size should not change during the iteration. But in this code, I think this code is clear uh, to to read and uh, is also safe if you do uh, something different. Uh, little changes, for example, and does not change what is the uh, the value of the index. You could also fix this by keeping the previous version and looping from one to point size and drawing between uh, i minus one and i. But this will change what uh, the value of the uh, index variable in the body. So, in my opinion, is uh, more intrusive. But if uh, unsigned types are not good for size, uh, what are they good for? I think there are two use cases. The first one, if you actually need the modular arithmetic. There are a few algorithms in cryptography, for example. And uh, there are, or if in other cases, if you are using ring buffers. But you really want the, uh, the, uh, the index to wrap around. You really want to work in clock-like, uh, clock-shaped numbers, with clock-like uh, numbers. And uh, you have to understand the implications, but that's uh, a possible use case. Another very common use case is if you need to use all the bits explicitly. For example, on an 8-bit per character machine, uh, the most significant bit of a character is B7, is uh, uh, one shifted left, uh, seven times left, uh, as the value is uh, 128. But this value is too big for an 8-bit single character. So if you want to use all the bits, if you don't care about the numeric value of, the, of that byte, but you care about the bits, then using an unsigned character is probably the correct choice. Here I'm uh, reading a quote from the C++ programming language, from the, um, the book from the uh, actually the, the inventor of C++, German Strustrup, and uh, it goes like this. Uh, the unsigned integer types are ideal for uses that read storage as a bit array. Using an unsigned instead of an int to give one more bit to represent positive integers is almost never a good idea. Attempts to ensure that some values are positive by declaring variables unsigned will typically be defeated by implicit conversion rules. Uh, so this is basically the uh, is claiming that if you want to have uh, the use case B, then unsigned is the, just uh, the way to go. And the other cases are dangerous. And there are similar opinions by other uh, uh, very famous C++ uh, authors and uh, but you should not in my opinion uh, rely just on those words uh, you should uh, try to think what are the problems of unsigned and in my opinion if you form uh, if you really think uh, on the issue and uh, more importantly if you uh, build some experience uh, writing uh, and even more importantly debugging code uh, written by others uh, you will come to the same conclusion that using an unsigned for uh, storing a positive that is non-negative integers is, is never a good idea because unsigned does not mean non-negative it's something different and uh, I think you will get to the same conclusion Using an unsigned type for size t uh, for the standard containers was a design mistake. The price uh, that was paid, that is wrong semantic, was too high for the little game. It's a one extra bit. Um, this is my opinion. Someone may think that back then was the correct choice. I don't think that even back then was the correct choice. Uh, but uh, Unfortunately, there is no way this can be fixed now. So even if now it's recognized by everyone that 
unsigned, it, it was the wrong choice for the side of container, it cannot be fixed because of backward compatibility. There is just too much C++ code around the world that would behave differently if we change this, and uh, this will just break everything. So, this is not going to happen in any revision, future revision of C++. So, the size D is going to stay unsigned forever, unfortunately. What can be done is avoid repeating the same mistake in the future. So, in your code, when you design new classes or new API, please don't be fooled by the name into thinking that unsigned means non-negative. Unsigned may resemble non-negative in English, but has completely different meaning for the language. For the C++ language, unsigned means modulo or member of Z over N. That's what unsigned is. And you are not, uh, uh, if you are not going to use this modulo mathematics, or if you are not going to use the bits, the individual bits, then using unsigned is the wrong choice. So using unsigned for a size uh, is the wrong choice. Using unsigned for a counter is the wrong choice. So don't repeat the same mistake. There are no uh, excuses now. Because uh, the numbers, the counters we have now are much bigger. Now they are 32 or even 64. So there is really uh, n that extra bit does, is not worth the wrong, the wrong uh, semantics that we get from using uh, an assigned for account. Okay, that's all. I hope uh, I made uh, my point a little bit clearer now. Thank you and see you.